Step 1. Change the application layout. Add an images source folder with the first image dataset. Change the application layout in the top left corner to 1 plus 2 plus 1 layout. In the workflow tab, click the image button in add imagery part to add images from the first dataset. Mark all images and click the open button to load them. Step 2. Align images. Change a 3D view. In the Alignment tab, click the Align Images button in the Registration part, to align the source images. Change the 3D view using the mouse movement. Hold the left mouse button to move and the right mouse button to rotate the scene. Step 3. Pick two suitable images for 2D views. Hint, use 1 plus click and 2 plus click. Place four control points on the picked images. Scroll the mouse wheel over all images. Pick some suitable images holding number 1 and 2 on the keyboard and click the left mouse button on one of the image. In the alignment tab, click the control points button in the constraints part. To assign a control point, click into the first image and hold the left mouse button pressed. It will automatically create a control point and zoom in, so you can fine-tune its placement. Release the left mouse button to place and confirm the control point. Click in the second image and create a corresponding control point there. In the same manner, create altogether four control points in the two chosen images. Step 4 Change control points from tie points to ground control points using the 1DS. Set ground control points coordinates using the 1DS. Update. Change the 3D view. Change the left 2DS view to 1DS view. Click on the control points. Choose point 0. Change its type from tie point to ground control and set some suitable XYZ coordinates. In the same manner, change the remaining 3 control points to ground control points and reset their XYZ coordinates. In the Alignment tab click the Update button in the Constraints part, to apply changes. An achieved deviation is almost zero. Change the 3D view to see perform changes better. Step 5 Export XMP Metadata Pay attention to, camera poses in the XMP Metadata Export window. Copy the XMP files to an empty folder. Mark all cameras in the scene. In the Export part of the Alignment tab, click the Metadata XMP button, to export the XMP metadata. In the XMP metadata export window, pay attention to camera poses, which have to be set to export as locked, for completely same alignment. Confirm that you want Reality Capture to export the XMP files next to the image files. An individual XMP file is created for every image in the image source folder. Mark and copy all the XMP files. And paste them to an empty XMP folder. Step 6. Set a reconstruction region. Hint, change a 3D view using Numlock 2, 5, 0. Export the Reconstruction region. In the Reconstruction tab, click the Set Reconstruction Region button in the Model Alignment part and choose Set Region manually. Define the Reconstruction region using the left mouse button clicks and mouse movement. You can use a top, side and front view pressing number 2, 5 and 0 on your keyboard and adjust the reconstruction region to a desired form. In the Reconstruction tab, click the Reconstruction Region button in the Export part, to export the created reconstruction region. Choose a file name and click the Save button. 
Step 7. Create a 3D model in normal quality. In the Reconstruction tab, click the Normal Detail button in the Process part, to reconstruct a 3D model in a normal quality. In the 1DS, there will be a newly created Model 1 added under the Component 0. Step 8. Simplify the model to 1 million triangles. In the Reconstruction tab, click the Simplify Tool button in the Tools part, to simplify the 3D model. Set the target triangle count to 1 million and click the button to simplify. In the 1DS, there will be a simplified model to add it under component 0. Step 9. Save the project. Close the application. Click on the Reality Capture logo in the top left corner, to open the main menu. Choose Save As. Write a file name and click the Save button to save your project. Click the button in the top right corner to close the application. Step 10. Clear the application cache. In the Workflow tab, click the Settings button in the Application part. In the Application Settings panel click the Clear button to clear the application cache. Step 11. Replace the used images in the Source folder. Replace the used images in the Image Source folder using for example Total Commander. Open your Image Source folder. And delete all used files. Open the folder with images for texturing. Copy all of them into your image source folder. Step 12. Open the saved project. The source images are replaced. Change a 3D view. Click on the Reality Capture logo in the top left corner, to open the main menu. Click Open. Choose a recently saved project and click the Open button to load the project. Change a 3D view using mouse movement. Hold the left mouse button to move and the right mouse button to rotate the scene. Step 13. Texture the simplified model. In the Reconstruction tab, click the Texture button in the Process part, to texture the simplified 3D model. In the 1DS, there will be a new textured model 2 under the Component 0. Step 14. Export the textured model. Pay attention to Coordinate System in the Export Model window. In the Reconstruction tab, Click the Mesh button in the Export part, to export the 3D model. Write a file name and click the Save button. In the Export Model window, pay attention to the coordinate system, which has to be set to the project output.